Alright people, this is your boy Dash True Inferno. <laughs> and as you can see, I'm taking the ice bucket challenge. So basically, let me give you a little backstory about how I was challenged. This past Friday I came out with the latest episode of the J Show. Well the next day, which was a Sunday, um, one of my boys, Jow MVP305, hopefully I said your name correctly, uh, left a comment on that video challenging me to take this challenge. And I didn't see this comment until the next day, Monday, which was my birthday, August the 18th. And I obviously accepted. And here we go right here. And even though you probably won't see this video until Wednesday, part of the new Black Ops 2 commentary video, I actually did the challenge that following day, Tuesday, August 19th. The same thing as my single came out. So check that out. Link in the description box below. Link is at the end of this video as well. So for those of you who don't know what the ARS Ice Bucket Challenge is, I'm not going to waste any time giving you all a description about it because you can easily look that up. It's everywhere. And with that, I'm going to call out three people or groups of people to take this challenge. The first one, I'm challenging the entire My Ray Entertainment crew. The cast who came up with, yeah, the juggernaut, bitch. <laughs> I'm challenging them to do this challenge, or at least Nas and Randy Hayes, because I know how hard it is for the whole group to get together. But my second challenge goes out to FD Chick. Yes, FD, I'm challenging you to take this challenge right here. And the third one was a tough one because I know none of my boys were going to do it. And the people I wanted to challenge, one of them did it already and then challenged the other that wanted to challenge. So I had to think about it and I'm like, okay, I got one more person. iCloud Sky, I'm challenging you to take the Ice Bucket Challenge. So with that said, let's get straight into it. Whoa, I can't get a good grip. That's what's up. Ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, this is another Call of Duty Black Ops 2 commentary video for you, the YouTube citizens. And first and foremost, I would like to thank each and every one of you guys for wishing me a happy birthday. Yes, it was on August the 18th. Uh, I would like to thank everybody for wishing me a happy birthday on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter, through text messaging, on Instagram, to me personally. Heck, um, one of y'all guys actually made a song called 81814, as in August 18, 2014. I crap you not. <laughs> I, I didn't say he did that because it, he did it for me or my birthday. But uh, it, it was just funny that the day after my birthday, I saw that video and I saw that song. And I saw the title. I'm like, what? <laughs> but speaking of songs and music, yes, my first single continuity is out now only on youtube so go to where well, after you get them watching this video go to that video and listen to that beat that is the best beat off of the entire album that's coming out this veterans day the kyoto hour volume 2 continuity yes so yes that's again the best beat out of the entire album so you must go there and listen to that after you get them watching this video now with that out of the way let's get into today's topic so as you know, I always do stories about my boys. So, you know, you already know about the crazy one. You already know about the tall one. And you already know about shades. But I'm going to talk to you, the YouTube citizens, about one of my, another one of my boys. And I'm going to give him the nickname Sticks. Now, this is an embarrassing story about Sticks. So, that's why I ain't going to put his whole name out there on blast, even though it's a common name. But, anywho, let's get straight into the story. So, two weeks ago, uh, our boy from Atlanta, uh, out of town, rather, came up here. And, you know, we went out that, uh, it was Friday, actually, that Friday night, you know, and we were just celebrating the fact that he was up here, something good happened with another one of my boys, and of course, it's my birthday month, you know, so it was like, it was a week before my birthday, actual birthday weekend, so we were just up there kicking or whatever, and we was at my boy's place, and we were taking shots, now, 
uh, uh, let me be specific, two shots. Because, you know, the out-of-towner was like, yo, they take a shot for his birthday. They take a shot for the fact that I'm up here, blah, blah, blah. So after that, we left and we went to the club, which was outside um, at this um, establishment. So now where I'm at the club, I, I never buy drinks at the club. I just don't do it. You know, that's not my thing, cause they, mostly because they overcharge. Well, some of my boys, they buy drinks at, when they get to the club, but that's not me. So the out-of-towner and the uh, sticks were buying drinks at the club. Now. They kept buying drinks like crazy, and then to make matters worse, um, like I think Shays bought drinks for. No, he didn't do that. Uh, we met another one of our boys, and we go call him uh, Redder Man. He showed up up there, and he was buying drinks for sticks. And then um, some chicks showed up who were associated with one of my boys, and I'm, they didn't buy drinks for sticks, but I'm not sure they showed up with them. I don't know what happened, but this dude was constantly. Had drinks in his hand and he was mixing them up, you know, with the tequila. And then he had the Shell Rock earlier, and I think he had some dark stuff too. It, it, it was like basically he was gone. So to the point where he thought off with him spitting all over the place. Doesn't matter who or what was in front of him, he would constantly spit, 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 spit. So after that, I'm looking like, dude, why are you spitting all over the place? So then as the time went on, I catch him leaning on the wall. With his face, you know, with him facing the wall, I'm like, oh, man, I don't like where this is going. He about to puke and blah, blah, blah. And then next thing I know, he land on Shay's back. You know, I'm like, oh, no, he about to puke. <laughs> he about to puke with his two back. Oh, man, I'm like, dude, the bathroom is right around the corner, dude. But he wouldn't budge. But he didn't puke. But at the same time, he would constantly spit. So after that, so now the club scene is over, right? And this is where it gets really funny. We got we are in the parking lot right now, and we buy my boy's car. Um, so we standing there, and my boy, the crazy one, was talking to sticks like, "Yo, you gotta fork over the car keys." And he was like, "No, man, I'm good. I, I know I'm good." He like, "No, seriously, you gotta fork over the car keys." You know, and I don't know how. And he was like, "I'm not about to reach in your pocket and get your car keys." So you gotta. Get them out for me. And I don't know how he got the keys. Guy was in there. Guy was uh, with another one of my boys and some chicks. But uh, somehow he got the keys and he drove his car to where everybody else was at. And my and Sticks was like, no, man, I'm cool. I could drive over. And everybody was like, no, you are not driving. No, that's not happening. And he was like, no, I'm about to be real serious. <laughs> He like, I'm about to be real serious now. Okay, I got this. <laughs> just the fact he said that. He tried to look serious, though. We was like, no, that's not happening. It got so bad, dude. We had to wrestle this dude in the backseat of his own car, dude. It was crazy. And um, Mr. Redderman had to drive up. Cause he was checking on him, too. He drove up and had to help us put him in the back of the car, dude. And uh, Mr. Redman came up with a chick too, and she was telling him, "Dude, you in the back seat." So it was Sticks, the out of towner, and uh, the crazy one in this one car. So here's what happened. So driving back, <laughs> this is hilarious. So Sticks in the back seat. Now check this out. Sticks before all this though, I forgot how he got the car keys. Cause uh, at the point where um, Sticks was not forking over the car keys. He took his own car keys and just, uh, bouquet tossed them behind the back. <laughs> you know how a uh, uh, newly red wife just grow a bunch of bouquets over the back of her head? <laughs> That's what he did with his keys in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> and again, I didn't see that part, but I heard about it. I was like, what? And then, okay, now we go fast forward to the part where the crazy one finally got the keys and he's driving. And Sticks is in the, again, Sticks is in the back seat of his own car. And he's still spitting. Now, the scenario here was uh, he got one of those, um, he got those types of uh, MP MP3 players that you can take off the dashboard or whatever and hide them or whatever. So he, you know, obviously he does that. But Sticks, I mean not Sticks, the crazy one and the other time don't know where his MP3 is. So they driving back listening to no music. So all of a sudden they just hearing, they just hearing Sticks spitting. So they looking back there like, uh, everything okay back there? And Sticks is like, <laughs> man, I'm spitting in my boy car. <laughs> 
<laughs> the crazy one like, bro, you you in the you we are in your car. You are spinning in your car, and Sticks was like, what, what? <laughs> I was rolling. Oh my god, it was just too funny. Oh man, it was just too crazy, man. But eventually, Sticks did puke. Um. But not in his own car, so it was like, uh, we met up at the rendezvous point, we was all going home, and it was after we left the rendezvous point, that's when he was started puking. But yeah, it was crazy, he was just doing a whole bunch of stuff, and of course, we met up the next day to hang out with the out-of-towner and his family, and of course, Sticks don't remember anything that happened the night before. So we had to tell him everything that happened. This dude... <laughs> It was hilarious, man. It was just too crazy. Uh, more stuff happened. I, I I can't remember what it was, but the, that was the highlight. The fact that he was spinning in his own car, but he thought he was in somebody else's car. <laughs> I was cracking up, man. But yeah, man. Peace out, y'all.